Good morning, my name is Mary and I'm part of the Ablett Lord pilgrimage team and you're very welcome this morning to my home here in Dublin. We thank God for the blessings of these morning gatherings of the Ablett family as we continue to pray together, to welcome each new day and to place in the loving hands of God all those whom we wish to remember in prayer this day. Our world is still consumed by COVID and so we continue to pray for all those affected by it and involved in it. Those who have died from it, those who continue to suffer from the disease and those working in the health service. Let's take a short moment now to call to mind anyone we especially want to remember in prayer this morning. Let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our opening prayer. Almighty God, to whom this world with all its goodness and beauty belongs, give us grace joyfully to begin this day in your name and to fill it with an act of love for you and our neighbour. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our scripture text this morning is taken from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 10, verses 1 to 12. After this, the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. He said to them, the harvest is plentiful, but the labourers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out labourers into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this house. And if there is anyone there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the labourer deserves to be paid. Do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick who are there and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not welcome you, go out into its streets and say, even the dust of your town that clings to our feet, we wipe off in protest against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God has come near. I tell you on that day, it will be more tolerable for Sodom than for that town. When I read that text, the following section jumped out at me. Peace to this house. And if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. I find a real sense of comfort in this verse that I can hope for a, a blessing and peace even when my efforts to reach out to another have been rejected or, or, or they're unsuccessful or thrown back in my face. There are times in our lives, certainly I've experienced them, when we reach out to others to offer comfort, to offer forgiveness, perhaps to seek forgiveness and we are given the cold shoulder and our efforts are thrown right back in our faces. If we can somehow take that offer of peace back into our own hearts, as the gospel suggests to us today, it can help us move on and not to become 
discouraged or bitter or cynical. That might not be our immediate response, but our faith teaches us to love first and to love always. Jesus lives with us, he lives through us, and so we are called to, to be that love of Jesus, to, to live out and demonstrate that love of Jesus for others and, and for ourselves. I sometimes need to pause to take that peace back into my heart. And it can take a little time, but when I do, it makes all the difference and it frees me to live again, to, to be more alive again. And so we close our time of prayer together. Every day I need you, Lord, but this day especially. I need some extra strength to face whatever is to come. This day, more than any other day, I need to feel you near me, to fortify my courage and to overcome my fear. And so, dear Lord, hold my trembling hand. Thank you for joining me this morning. May the Lord bless and keep us all this day. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.